Who? Eric fucking Church. You now, dumb son of a bitch. What? I didn't think this story was real. In Dead serious. The hell. It's a fucking sim world, dude. It's a fucking sim world we're living in. So, innocent night last night, innocent evening, just a, a, a young man mentoring children to win another soccer championship, uh, hung out with the parents afterwards while the kids played on the playground, and uh, it was a, a couple moms that were soup sangry, um, mm-hmm. couldn't come to the birthday party this weekend for, for a child, and they were like, hey, dude, we had grandparents flew in from out of town. This is going to be our one night out without the kids. I was like, oh, where are, we, where are you going? San Antonio to see Eric Church. And I was like, ah, shit. I was like, I heard something about that. Is that still going on? Or was that an April Fool's Day joke? And they were like, no, we thought it was an April Fool's Day joke too, but it's real. If you haven't heard this story, country uh, superstar Eric Church, who calls his audience the choir, um, yeah. I was a big UNC Tar Heels fan. Obviously, they're in the Final Four, which I predicted on Drinking Bros Sports. You're welks for that. Uh, however, they're playing Duke, and the winner goes to the championship. It's never happened in, in school's history. It's like Ohio State, Michigan, but for, for basketball, right? Biggest rivalry in college basketball. He told his, his 25,000 fans that were coming to the, the concert, fuck off. I'm going to do something selfish. This is an exact word for what he said. I'm going to do something selfish for once. And I'm going to go to the UNC game and take my family. And I, and I hope the choir can forgive me. Because you know, as, a, as a, a fan of mine, that I'm also a sports enthusiast. And it's the same way I feel about my team. No, it's not, Eric. No, it's not. You fucking chump. I mean, what an asshole. Like, we have kids, so I know... What you have to go through, right? Yeah. Babysitter. All of the things. Car, ride share, hotels, all of it because you're going to have a few drinks. You don't want to get a fucking Dewey with kids and all that other shit. It's on the weekend, too. So you'd be sitting in the, in the old pokey until Monday. Right. On a charge like that. Right. And you work your entire life to have these fans for all of this shit. And then you just say, meh, not good enough. I'm going to. I'm going to go ahead and sit this one out and go to the game. But thanks for playing. You guys get it, right? No, they, did, they definitely didn't get it. They fucking hate Eric Church now. And a lot of people do. And you, I told you this story when I got home last night. And you said the, the, probably the most perfect statement you probably could have said in your life about this situation. You go, why didn't he just lie? Why did he tell the truth? Yeah. Like, you're not going to, I think he wants, like, the points for telling the truth. And he wants, like, people to be like... Okay, well, he was honest, and he's taking care of himself. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Which is what he, how he kind of worded it. Like, we all have those friends that um, have gone to too much therapy. Sure. Um, Usually girls. Yeah. um, That are like, I'm now setting boundaries. And they kind of turn into, it turns into a little bit of a a bitchy, socially uh, rude situation. Where they're like, I'm just going to say no. You yeah. know what I mean? And yeah. you're like, and I, and I get that. But, like, you know, society still, like, wants us to tell white lies and, like, make people feel better. Like, no, I can't come because my kid's sick. Yeah. The, the woman that's been to a lot of therapy and is now setting boundaries comes off as a real bitch, right? Yeah. Because she's like, um, no, that's not going to work for me. And you're like, I mean... Mm. Okay, I mean, I'm glad you're not lying. I would rather you lie. It just doesn't, it doesn't come off well. So what he's doing is I'm going to be selfish, and I'm going to be honest, and this is a boundary I'm setting for myself, and I just need you guys to be okay with it. And it's like, that's not really how it works anymore. Right. I mean, I think people want socially for that to be where we trend, where it's like you take care of yourself, you take care of your mental health, you're honest, and people are just going to accept it. But it's not quite there yet. Like, we really want you to lie. I want you to say that one of your band members has COVID or something and you can't make it. And then if we see you at the game, it's like, it wasn't me that had COVID. It was a band member. You know what I'm saying? Like, we still need that buffer, this, like, brutally honest... Yeah, so Boston Joe in the chat is saying he didn't lie because he definitely would have been caught at the game. So here's the thing. Sure. You blame it on a bandmate. You say, hey, Brev, bandmate. this is called Eric Church. People are paying for Eric Church. You're the fucking backup bass player or whatever it is. 
congratulations. I'm going to need you to take the take it for the team here. You have COVID and go ahead and sit in a fight. I'll pay you to sit in a hotel all weekend to quarantine. I'm going to go to this fucking game. Because then if you showed up at the game and just blamed it on a bandmate, it's like, oh, we were worried, but I took a, a test, a PCR test. And man, it, I passed and I just don't have the, the COVID so now I can go to the game, but man, my bandmate, let's pray for him. Throw up some fucking prayer emoji hands, whatever the fuck it is you have to do. And then people would be, all right, cool, man. Bandmate got COVID, no big deal. Church didn't lie to me. He didn't lie to the choir. So we want COVID to stay around now? Is no. That an excuse to get out of right this? now. Just an excuse. Just an, ex- and as an, an excuse. excuse right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but, fuck, fuck all of this. All right. There's no hardcore Eric Church fans. These people just wanted to go somewhere to get drunk. Just go somewhere else to get drunk now. There is. That's kind of, there's also that, that side of it too, where it's like, he didn't kill you. He, he did. Didn't, he did he kill didn't, you. Yes, he did. I'm with you guys. I'm with the choir on this one. He, he fucking didn't killed cancel you. cancel uh-huh. your grandparents. Yeah, fuck them kids. Man, I wish, exactly, <laughs> dude. I wish we he were on the, the, Patreon right now so we could go through Church's catalog. And you tell, well, do you listen to country at all, Bob? I don't peg you as a country guy. Yeah. I mean, I, I peg you, but I don't, not as a country guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, you do, I am a country guy, so you do peg me as a country guy. Okay, so Eric Church is pretty fucking big. Like, you got to give it to that guy. Um, yeah. I, you can't do this, dude. Why? Can't fucking do it. It's the final four. It's Coach K's last game because North Carolina's going to smoke him. Uh, I've changed yeah. my tune. That's why this show is called The Church Curse. I, I was prepared because we're doing our final full four show here uh, coming up, gambling-wise. I was prepared to take UNC. Now I think there's going to be a church curse, and they're fucked. Mm. I, I'm taking Duke. Mm. I'm taking Duke. Um, and I think this church curse is going to last for a while, and I think because of him, they don't win a national championship for another 20, 30 years. What's, like, one of his songs? Um, Springsteen. Yeah. Hold on. A couple fire. more bars, Dan. I ha- I didn't get it. Can we fucking play? I wish we could just play his music. You, you you'll can't. know it. You'll know. I know we can't. Sing me a couple bars. I don't know any songs since college. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I don't. I don't know any songs because all I do is listen through the goddamn i iPhone. Bob, so are I you a part of the choir? I just know Heart on Fire, and sp- I forgot. I actually forgot he was Springsteen. Springsteen. Oh, Heart on Record fire. year. I thought that was someone else. Nope, yeah. that is the oh, 80s, yeah. dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hell of a view, bunch of nothing, smoke a little smoke. There's a bunch. Springsteen was a huge song, and that was like 2011, for Christ's sake. And sakes. on the run. Oh, boy, Giorgio. We're going to have to rip that mic out of your hand. Um, you were probably listening to Gale on the way over here, weren't you? Asia. Asia? Beat of the moment. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I know really? him. Is that his song? Nope. Oh, okay. No, no, Heat of the moment? No, no, no. no now no, I get no. it. Um, yeah, so the yeah. church curse is real. It's going to happen. Uh, he, he's going to be there courtside with his whole family in New Orleans, and he's going to fucking lose. Now, if you had real goddamn confidence in your team, you, and I checked his schedule, you do the gig on Saturday night. You watch it in the green room, because we're on Central here, so you kick that back an hour. Congratulations. You go on stage at 10. Instead of fucking nine. And then come out and tell the crowd, hey, I'm sorry. Play it on the fucking Jumbotron. Or give somebody else a chance who would never get to perform in front of this many people. And just add somebody else to the undercard of the Eric Church fucking choir experience. Congratulations. Let's fucking party then, right? Monday night, he's off. Checked his schedule. He's off. That's the championship. Do you not think your team's going to the championship? Because the way I look at it, would you want to go and see them lose? Fuck no. Like, I wouldn't want, if it was Ohio State, Michigan, and I was like, eh, there's a fucking chance we can lose. I don't want to fucking go see this shit. And then if they win, he's got to sit there another two days and wait for the championship. Mm, to I me, mean, it doesn't sound like Church has got a lot of confidence in that uh, team. I would much rather go to the Duke, North Carolina game than the national championship. If your team is in it? If, I, Duke, North Carolina. It's, it's bigger than sports. It's not, it's not bigger. The, the, the well, national championship is still bigger than sports. Nah. Yes. Yeah, but what nah, if it was like, like Ohio State, Michigan versus like? But if nothing? it was in the nat- the, the for the Natty, sure, let's go. Right. No one remembers Finland. Everyone remembers USA Russia. That was the semifinals. Who I won don't the gold medal? Either one of the those. US. They beat Finland. Yeah, you're goddamn right, dude. But nobody remembers that game. They won the gold medal. That's the championship. That's it. That's the final thing. So you would have rather gone to USA Finland than you, you, the Miracle on Ice. You're out of your fucking mind. No. You're saying that, that like, in, in hindsight, USA-Finland is the preferable game. 
to the Miracle on Ice? It depends because you don't know, right? Like, that's a, that's a tough comparison because you, like, that team was dog shit. I think, UNC, I think UNC is really fucking good, and I think UNC could actually win it all. Whereas USA, that was a fucking dog shit team that just came so out of nowhere. You're saying, like, a rival, which I agree with, but, like, a rivalry situation is way... In the semifinal? So, but imagine yeah, you lose... Happened. Imagine you lose this game, though, and you're there. Yeah, but there. imagine you're the one that won the rivalry in the... You get to bury Coach K. You get to end his fucking career. Jordan right, but it, it, that opportunity? If yes. not, if he beats you to go to the finals, Coach K pulls his dick out, and he pisses all over North Carolina and in the Final Four. And then that's also memorable. No, yeah. it's not. Well, if you, you I've, even I've been on the other side the of it. championship game if they do that. So I've, been, I've been on the other side of it where, where Michigan has won and dashed our national championship hopes on the last game of the year. Fuck, I was at the goddamn Heisman game. It was right in front of my face, and I was like, fuck you. It's still the one of the worst days of my life. I'll kick that back to the Super Bowl. The Falcons game? Falcons go to the Super Bowl. I wish I was never at that fucking game. I wish I was never there at that New England game. Dead serious. That 28-3 game was one of the worst in days of my life. In hindsight. It writes. So in hindsight, that's what's going to happen to him when Duke wins on Saturday night. Church curse, in effect, Fuck him, dude. And if I'm the choir, I shut it down, dude. Start following Chris Stapleton, all right? Better singer. Better singer, dude. Let's go. I didn't think I was going to get hit this heated today, but here yeah. we are. Plus, I don't think Stapleton likes sports, so you're good. I don't know he's what he likes. Gonna, he's never going to leave you. I don't know what he likes. tractor song, right? I think. Uh, Giorgio. What's I the cut one? his fucking he, mic today. He has the suicide song. Right? Yeah. The one about no, the, the truck whiskey. and the dog and the whiskey. The whiskey, the whiskey yeah. and the truck and the if dog. If you said that about and every country wife. song, you would have nailed it. Yeah. Morgan Wallen, well, that's where we're going Stapleton, right. like, yeah, country, wife, whiskey, domestic violence, mm-hmm. all of it. And I love all of it. Sure. I didn't mean to beat her. Yeah. But she fucking asked for it. Like that, all of it is in there. Right. Bring back Alan Jackson. God damn it. He used to get wasted and just beat the shit out of I his wife. I think the point of it, the point of this whole thing is that you need to lie. There's so many people in the chats being like, in his honesty, he was honest, fuck it if they can't handle it. Yeah. I just would people hate- People in the chat right now, I championships would hate only. For, I would hate for that to be where we go as a society because I can't. I have to lie. You gotta lie. I don't wanna, I'd rather, I think it's the nice thing to do. Yeah. Because you're not hurting people's feelings. Yes. And you're not letting your, like, a lot of people view him as a hero, you know, that's their favorite artist. And it's like, dude, you're not letting them down. That, that one night they have, they planned their whole fucking six months around, babysitters, everything else. His moms were angry last night. And I was like, yo, I get it. I fucking get it. And Fuck look, that guy. Again, he didn't kill any babies or cancel grandparents. That we not know. yet. Yeah, that exactly. We of, that we know but, of. But, you know, and Bob is kind of right, like. They're still going to go out and drink. He didn't cancel these families yeah. going out and drinking. I, I've been to an Eric Church show, and it's just people getting shit-faced. Like, they're, like he is a secondary concern. He's right, just right, like right. a so kick-ass soundtrack. Go to, some, go to the White Horse, you yeah. know? Get drunk with your mom, friends. Yeah. Broken You're spoke. still going to be fine. Yeah. Oh, that's like, funny. That's kick all, ass soundtrack. That's it's a all good one. they want to do. Yeah, it's just a better live band <laughs> at the bar. That's all than it is. What you would normally get. <laughs> that's so, so good. And yeah, they got, they all got, like, the people that are mad, they all got hotels and their grandparents came in. By the way, I don't care what I'm doing. Like, when grandparents come and they're keeping the kids overnight and I'm in a hotel, literally, sure. I don't care. Sure. 